On the Channel Island of Jersey, a British Crown dependency of the coast of France, a team of archaeologists have recently discovered the oldest example of art in the British Isles, dating back to the Ice Age 15,000 years ago at a site called Le Varine. Ten flat stone tablet plaquettes were found during an archaeological dig from 2014 to 2018. And last August, a study by experts from London's Natural History Museum, the University of Newcastle, and the University of York, analysing the engraved markings found on the plaquettes, was published. The link to the published journal article, Artists on the Edge of the World, as well as my other sources, are in the description. And I highly recommend that you read through the article if you wish to have a more in-depth and academic insight into the Leverine plaquettes. The article analysed groups of engraved lines made on the plaquettes that were made using stone tools. These marks are likely to have been made by one person and in quick succession between each stroke incision. The most interesting of the plaquettes, plaquette number two, is theorised to depict a bovid, as well as a mammoth and possibly even a human face. A co-author of the published study, Dr. Sylvia Bello, from the Natural History Museum, said that the majority of the designs are purely abstract, but others depict basic forms such as animals, landscapes or people. This strongly suggests that the plaquettes at Leverine were engraved for purposeful artistic decoration. The Magdalenian cultures of the late European Paleolithic, dating from about 21,000 to 14,000 years ago, were a hunter-gatherer cultural group of the Ice Age that shared similar artistic and tool-making practices, and were evidenced to have spanned across northern Iberia and what is now France and parts of Central Europe. Archaeological finds from the Magdalenian cultures show an abundance of creativity, being more experimental in expression than previous cultures in Europe. They created art by utilising a greater variety of complex pigments, as well as diluting colours to create contrast. The most famous examples of what the Magdalenes were artistically capable of are the paintings found in the caves of Lascaux in France and Altamira in Spain. These sites show that these cultures developed expressive and decorative depictions of figurative animals and geometric shapes which indicates an early example of artistic skill amongst Homo sapiens. Most animal depictions in Magdalenian art are either horse or mammoth, with less common renditions of bovids and cervids. Artistic plaquettes, like those found in Jersey, have been discovered across Europe, though are less common in the northern margins of where the Magdalenian cultures inhabited, as is shown by this outdated map. This had previously suggested that the Magdalenian culture had a marginal or near non-existent presence in Britain. However, the discovery of Magdalenian art in Jersey, on the very northern periphery of the Magdalenian cultural influence at the time, is important for understanding the extent to which European Paleolithic culture groups had influence in northwestern Europe. The plaquettes were found here at Le Varine which is in the parish of St. Saviour, on the southeastern end of Jersey. The excavated plaquettes were found amongst a fire pit, as well as granite slab flooring, which suggests that the art was created in a domestic context. This is also found at the site of Gunnersdorf in Germany. Now, the Magdalenians that were here at Leverin were pioneers and were very likely explorers or even settlers of new land. Dr Ed Blinkhorn from UCL and the director of the Laverine Excavations explains that the discovery of the engraved plaquettes amongst hearths, pits, paving, specialist tools and thousands of flints shows that creating art was an important part of the Magdalenian pioneer toolkit. Co-author of the Laverine journal article, Dr Connolla, from Newcastle University elaborates by saying that the engraved stone fragments provide exciting and rare evidence of the artistic expression at what was the furthest edge of the Magdalenian world, and that the people at Leverine are likely to have been pioneer colonizers of the region, and that creating engraved objects at the new settlements may have been a way of creating symbolic relationships with new places. Laverine is also evidence of the earliest record of Homo sapiens inhabiting Jersey. 
Though hundreds of thousands of years before the Lavarian stone markings, Neanderthals are known to have hunted steppe mammoths at the site of Lakot, at the northwest end of the island. On plaquette 2, there are four layers of engraving made in sequence, one after the other. The first two are horizontal and then vertical lines, followed by circular engraving curves. However, it is the fourth and final layer of markings that features the possible depictions of the mammoth and human face, which are also made with deeper and more visible engravings in comparison to the previous layers. Across all the plaquettes found at Laverine, all had the same sequence and style of drawing lines, and then curves, all by the same person. The initial lines and curves that were made in swift progression to one another could suggest to us that the engraver was using their line drawings as a learning practice to progress to the more complex designs of the final fourth layer. Supporting the theory that the plaquette engravings were artistic rather than a byproduct of utilitarian use, Dr. Bellow further explains that many of the lines, including the curved concentric designs, appear to have been made through layered or repeated incisions suggesting that it is unlikely that they resulted from the stones being used for a functional purpose. Also, the plaquettes are very small, only about 102 by 75 millimeters, so it is unlikely that the stone was being used as a cutting board, but rather the engravings support the idea that the incisions were very precise, though undetailed, miniature drawings. Furthermore, the drawings were only briefly visible to the engraver, as Dr. Bellow explains, the action of engraving probably created a powder within the incisions that make them temporarily visible. This swiftly disperses, meaning that the engravings were only clearly visible at the moment of their making. Much in the same way if you were to scrape a stone onto another stone yourself. This is significant to our understanding of Paleolithic culture, as the brief artistic expression of the engraving was seemingly more subjectively important to the Magdalenians at Laverine than the finished product of the tablets. Whilst we in the modern day may think of the purpose of art to be observed and appreciated, art in the prehistoric world was different, being hidden deep within caves and made with no intention of being widely viewed. In the case of Laverine, regardless of one's own opinions on the possible depictions on the plaquettes, the making was personal and subjective. In other words, they were simply ancient doodles. Jersey Heritage plans for the plaquettes to be returned to Jersey by the end of 2020 to be put on display for public viewing.